Hello. In this lecture, we are going to consider behavioral addictions. This is about addictions without drugs. It's about disorders where there is an excess behavior. For example, this company, internet use or perhaps shopping. We often hear people say that they are addicted to eating kinds of food or that we are addicted to watch television shows. People have written books about their various addictions. People have asked, asked me if I thought what their internet use was an addiction before we can respond responsibly say that something in addiction there has to be a significant study of that problem it has to be clearly demonstrated that behavior in some people has the characteristic of a brain disorder and addiction at this time we can say that there is evidence for counting as an addictive disorder and it seems likely that in the future there will be more evidence and some additional behaviors will be considered an addiction that may require treatment for some people what have we learned about complaint that allows us to classify it as an addiction for some people? Well, it's been shown that complaint can be a persistent behavior that causes harmful effect in life. The harmful effect, of course, can be a loss of money such that you don't meet your applications like paying the rent or buying food for our family in addiction to complain away money that you need. There are some other characteristics. For example, you haven't been able to cut back or stop and you expensive stress then you try to stop. You may lie or try to conceal how much you gamble and you may gamble after episodes of stress. As with other addictions, you may be able to walk away from gambling for some time but then relapse. Studies have documented that there are people who behave in this way and who benefit from treatment. You may have you may have recognized that many of the characteristics of gambling disorder are similar to those for drug abuse disorders or addictions. I refer to Continue to use in spite of negative consequences and replaces after of during stress. There will be amount in criteria for all addictions. Can you get help or treatment for gambling? Of course you can. You only have to find a, a suitable treatment provider. What if you were <clears throat> involved with internet use or shopping or sex to the point there is causing personal distress because of harmful consequences? Even thought these behaviors may to not be officially classified and addictions right now, you can still get treatment for these problems is you need it. In sum summary, here are the main points. 
certain behaviors you can be addictive in the sense that you continue to do them again and again even though they have harmful consequences the main behavior that this has been documented for is complaining in the future other behaviors are likely to be established as addictive disorders for some as well if you are involved in a behavior that is somehow destructive to do you can still catch help from a treatment professional no matter what it's after this lecture I'd like you to go to the internet and look at various sites that deal with complaining as an addiction and I like you to focus on two different kinds of sites. The first type I'd like you to look at are those that describe complaining as an addiction. What do they say about it? The next kind of sites that I'd like you to look uh, at are the treatment sites. And if I identify one or two places of groups that treat complain. Finally, let me briefly review the topics covered in this first week. The definition of addiction and abuse has been described. I've talked about how drug use has persisted throughout history and what that may mean. There's more to come on each or that there's a year in future lectures. The proceeding program in copyrighted by Emory University.